I'm Teddy Wilson. And I'm AJ Fry. And we definitely have a treat for you because we're about to take you behind the scenes on the hit series Sanctuary. The show has entered its third season of stories about a team of underground specialists studying and protecting abnormal creatures who live in our world. That's right. It all started out as a web series where it gathered enough support to make the move to television. And there it's enjoyed huge success with fans all over the world. And it's those same fans who have become hooked on the exciting scripts and the amazingly groundbreaking visual effects, all of which will continue in the exciting adventures of season three. Once again, uh, Sanctuary hits the ground running in season three. We've got two sort of big enemies that we're gonna come up against. I'm really excited about season three. Yeah, it started off intense right off the bat. It's classic Sanctuary. We discover an amazing technological feat, which we then set about trying to find. It's going to put everybody on their heads. It's just like people are going to watch this and be like, what? Things are going crazy. We're basically trying to hold everything together. It's going to be a huge season. Buckle up, because it's going to be a ride. You sure you want to go through this? Oh, well, yeah. Today's a good day to die. Sounds like an action-packed start for season three, and the perfect pickup from where we left off in season two. Will is in and out of a coma, uh, thinking he's seeing Callie, who's a goddess. But really, you end the season with a massive tidal wave about to obliterate a good portion of the earth. Run! Must be sanctuary! <laughs> We could be looking at a full resurrection of the deadliest race of abnormals ever to run the Earth. And that's basically where we left off. So we have, you know, part of our crew still at the sanctuary, another part of our crew in Mumbai, and then the, the rest of us over on a, on a ship in the middle of the ocean. Between Magnus, Henry, Will, and Kate, we all try to figure out who Bertha is, what's going on, um, what's happening with the Macri, and how to keep Will alive. Kate, how much time? Three minutes, six seconds. So we are now uh, in, the, in, the, in the process of, uh, uh, you know, trying to rectify certain situations that seem, you know, completely impossible to fix. We got back into the writer's room and we all sort of looked at Damien and went, so genius, kind of painted us into a little bit of a corner here. I had nothing to do with that. I categorically deny my creative involvement in the giant spider and the tsunami. So it was up to him to figure out how we got out of this incredible situation. And it's actually quite brilliant. Think about it. It's insane. It's a ridiculous idea. I wouldn't... It, come on. No. It wasn't me at all. Next question. But none of it makes any sense. There's this commitment to always doing things differently and, and keeping the pace up and, and keeping the stakes high for the characters. And you're certainly going to see that uh, right away in, in the beginning of season three. But try to find out what else we can expect from the new season and you'll soon find that the cast and crew can be very coy. I don't want to get into the whole spoiler category. A lot of uh, Will just bearing it all. It's like Gossip Girl, but with monsters bearing his bare, bare bone. I'll be doing a Moulin Rouge number this year. Magnus is Darth Vader. Bum. How many times can I say bum on camera? Bum. I'm actually not on the show anymore. I just showed up today because I heard you guys were going to be here. And I just wanted to get, you know, some camera time. Yeah. Everyone knows abnormals love to dance. And we're going to show that this year in Sanctuary. Dude, you cannot be serious. Don't interfere, dude. All joking aside, with a longer season schedule, fans can look forward to deeper storylines, more monsters, and an abundance of beasties. Hello, beastie. We are going to have amazing adventures in season three. Season three is the first season with uh, 20 episodes. More. Just a lot more. We really need a bigger cage. Having the opportunity to have more episodes this season, it just really broadens the horizon for us. You know, it's, it's a huge world that's been created, and there's so many things we've been talking about wanting to explore and, and tap into, but you're limited. You know, you're limited by time. How long do we have? Hot 
Very, very cool stories. Really, really fun character moments. Super cool, love to hate them villains. You betrayed me! New areas to explore, uh, new worlds. She's not making earthquakes. She's making land. And something that tries to suck Will's brain. How sure are you about this? There's a lot of really fun interplay between Will and Kate. Nice call. And Magnus really is starting to... Her relationship with Kate is definitely deepening, and there's they're really building a nice foundation of trust. So yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited about like the relationships that are developing and the stories. You ever done this move before? Are you kidding? I invented it. Relationships seem to be a hot topic for this season, with one couple in particular being put in the spotlight. We also get to uh, see some very, very amazing history of Magnus and Druitt and Tesla from the time when they were first essentially the five, which is some unmined territory we've been dying to go back and, and really explore. Love you. If you liked season two, you will love season three, because what we're planning for season three, more arcing stories, um, uh, things that will make you this week need to come back next week to get an answer on. There are so many variables to consider, Will, so many pieces to this puzzle. Oh, Magnus. Characters get fleshed out more. We have much more history on, on Magnus. We have much more history on Will. We find out uh, things about Henry, too, that we've never known before, and Bigfoot. It's got a ring to it. Uh, ow! Our equipment is better. Um, our brains are better, and we imagine bigger. Coming up, the cast of Sanctuary reveals some secrets about their characters. There's an episode coming up where she completely loses it, which will be fun. Then later, what it's really like to work on set of Canada's hit sci-fi show. You may think that working at Ikea is a bit wrong. Sanctuary.